Alright, what's going on everybody? It's Spinny back with another Minecraft tutorial. In today's video, everybody, I'm going to show you all how to make a secret entrance that'll drop you straight down into your hidden base. So I, walk, I stand on this patch of grass right here. It just, it looks normal, nothing strange. But then I throw a block over there on that block, and what do you know, I fall down into my secret base below the ground. Let's say, I mean, obviously this isn't below the ground, but let's say this is below the ground. Your secret base, it closes up above you. Your friends will never know where you are. Shift so they can't see you. And down here, I got all the essentials to live. Beds, chests, all that stuff. We got music. Let's get into how to build it, everybody. It's pretty simple. This is the redstone. Let's do it. Okay, so the first thing we're going to pick is where we want the hole in the ground to be. So as you see, I have my little plot of land here, and this is where I decided to put it. Now, this could be inside your house. It could be out in the middle of nowhere, like, randomly, like kind of what I had earlier. But nevertheless, I want this block right here to be the one that opens up in the ground. So now we're going to place the pistons down. So you want to break this block right here, and you want to go underneath and place a little tunnel, I'd say about three blocks far down, just like this, because this will be the chute that you fall down when it opens. So place three blocks just like this. Then you want to go back up to the top and place a sticky piston two blocks down right there, with a block on top of it just like that and then you want to come to this side right here and you want to break these two blocks place a block right here and then place two sticky pistons on top of each other just like that so they're facing and when these extend it should be one block away so they can grab this piston and that block and of course you want that one block to be one block lower so that when that piston <laughs> extends down here it'll be up flush with the floor and that's that's the piston placements okay so now we want to hook the redstone up to the piston so grab your redstone grab your redstone repeaters and grab your redstone torch and let's get into how to build this so what you want to do is you want to place a block right here then you want to place one block above it and three blocks this way and a fourth block like that you want to place a redstone torch right here then you want to place two blocks going out this way with a redstone dust right there you want to place a repeater right here set to one tick just like that then you want to place redstone right here, right there, right there, and right there. And then that will be all the redstone hooked up to those sticky pistons. And then they will extend, and you'll see that the, that the floor is now here. It's here. I'm going to place this with a stone block just so it sticks out more. But now you'll see everything's set in place. Let's keep going. Twitch TV Sippy's also looking for a group post. Okay, and once you have all this redstone hooked up, you'll basically see that that's pretty much it for the sticky pistons. As you can see, if we place a button right here and we push it, the opening will happen, but we don't want the button placement right there. Let's get into how let's get into how to make it so when we throw a block over here, it'll pick it up and then open up. Let's get into how to do that. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is identify the block that you want to throw the item on. So I'm going to pick this block right here that I want to throw the item on. And what you want to do is you want to come down here and place a chest on this third block all the way down here, about three blocks below that top block. Then what you want to do is you want to take a hopper like this, place it right there, Take a minecart rail, uh, preferably a powered rail, just so the minecart doesn't go anywhere. And then you want to place a minecart with a hopper, just like that, and then you can place the original block back in its place. Okay, so once you have this simple setup done right here, then you want to grab a redstone comparator. That's the one with three three little deals on it, not the redstone repeater, the redstone comparator. And what you want to do is you want to take a comparator output from this hopper. So we're going to place one block right here, we're going to grab the comparator, and we're going to place it like this. Then we're going to come over here, hit this grass block, and go like that. Then once it's going into that grass block, you want to come over here and take a repeater output. This is the one with two. Take a repeater output set to four ticks, just like that. Have that run into a block like that. Then come over here. You want to place a block up here, just like that one right there. You want to place a block on the bottom and another block on the bottom. And then you want to place two pieces of redstone just like that. So here's your setup right here. Once again, comparator coming out of the hopper, not the chest, the hopper. Then you want to have it going into a repeater set to full ticks, four ticks right here, into a block. And then two pieces of redstone going into that redstone torch. It's kind of a little... Kind of a lot to follow, not really. But anyways, once you're caught up to me and you have all this done, I'll go buy a quick one one time here, a little panorama, just in case you guys are missing something, you can look at it one more time. But if you come back up to the top and you throw an item on that block that you picked, you'll see that the floor will actually come out from under you, and you will fall down into your house, and of course, it'll close up above you. So that's basically how you build it. That's the secret hole in the ground, secret entrance. It's pretty sweet, and I mean, yeah, if you come back up here, it's shut, and this could be a grass block like that. And we could use it again, over and over again, it'll continue to work. And it's awesome for, I guess, secret entrances. And I guess we can break these blocks if we want, if you want to. They're not really necessary. That one is right there, though, so don't break that. Just don't break any redstone, and that will work just like that. And I guess if you guys are wondering how this works right now, I'll do a quick explanation. So basically right now, this redstone torch is powering the two pistons that we placed right here, and the one piston down there, which pushes the block up to here. Basically what happens when you throw a block, it goes, it gets caught by this minecart uh, hopper, because minecart hoppers do grab items through one block, and then basically it goes through this hopper, which gives a redstone output, which will then power this, which will then turn this redstone torch off, which, which will then depower these pistons, which makes it open up so you can fall down. And then once, once the item passes through this hopper, it goes down into this chest, which turns off the signal, and then these... These uh, pistons up here will push everything back out, back to the original state. And one thing you want to look out for is you don't want to fill this chest up with too many items, because if it gets full, then the thing will stay on, the redstone will stay on, which you don't want to happen, but that'll take a while. And of course, I guess if you want more items to fit in there, for some reason, you can always just throw a double chest like that, and then you can you can do this. Just 
Once again, whatever you throw in this hopper in the ground over here will get collected into this into this chest right here. So just make sure you don't fill this chest up. It takes a lot to do that. But nevertheless, that's that. All right, and a couple other ways to power it to turn the item on. You don't always have to throw an item right here. I'll show you how to make it so you just have to pu push a button if you want it to open. So if you want to do that, you can break all this stuff. This is unnecessary if you don't want to waste an item every time to open up the door. You can go like this. You can break all this. Just like that. And then you get back down to this. And once again, this is basically the core mechanic. This is basically all the redstone that powers the whole thing. And all you want to do to make this thing work is just power this block right here with this redstone torch on it. So if you want to find your own way to do that, if you just power that, it'll shut everything off. The hole will open up. So here's a couple ways to do that for you. So if you wanted a button to operate the contraption, once again, you can just place it right here. You can have redstone underneath it, and then make sure you place it through a repeater right here so it doesn't power that. Put a block above this, and if you want to have a button power it, just again, follow this little design that I have right here. Two pieces of redstone, redstone, repeater, redstone, redstone, into this into this torch. Once again, just to, to operate the machine, you just want to run redstone into this block right here. And you'll see that when you press this uh, wooden button over here, that'll actually operate the machine, and you will fall down into your base. So I mean, you don't have to you don't have to use the minecart option if you don't want to waste an item every time to come down here. I mean, you can do a button, you can grab a lever, you can grab a lever if you want, and if you do this, it it will stay on if you do a lever the whole time until you shut the lever off. So if you want to have it open all times, I mean, you could do that with a lever, but I mean, then it's it's not really secret if you do that. I mean, I guess you can just place a pressure plate right here, I guess, if you want, and then you can like walk into it like this. I don't know. There's a whole bunch of different contraptions, but once again, if you want to look at this redstone right here, if you don't want to, if you want to use a button or a pressure plate, just run it like this. And run along there, and I guess again, guys, if you want to figure out your own way, just power, power this block right here, and then it'll operate the contraption. So yeah, hopefully you guys found this tutorial uh, useful. Hopefully you, you use it, you hide from your friends, and hopefully it helps you all out. Thank you all so much for uh, for watching. It's been Smitty. Thanks for watching. Peace out, everybody.